What's up guys, Celestia here again, bringing you another Elden Ring build. This is actually a throwback to one of the weapons from the original game, the Sword of Night and Flame, one of my personal favourite weapons, because that allows you to do a Kamehameha just from the sword. So, I'll show you guys the build at the end of the video, this is just going to be me buffing myself up before the boss. So, similar to other buffs that you use, I'm using the Howl of Shabriri just to buff myself with madness, because I've got the dumpling helmet on. I then stab myself, because I have a talisman that helps with that. And then I use the Commander Standard, which also buffs you. Then I'll use my Physic and just heal myself back up because it's going to start depleting my health a little bit. And then we get the sword out and we start laying into Mesmer. So it does take a little bit of time for you to cast this. So it's not super fast, but look at how much damage that does. Also, just to let you guys know, this is on New Game Plus 6 or 7. So the fact that it's still doing this much damage is kind of insane. But as long as you kind of know where the enemy's gaps are, you can easily just murder them with this weapon. And it's nice to be able to use this weapon again. The fire damage, you can also buff with a different sort of build. In my opinion though, the fire damage seems to be a little bit weaker and it's slower, so just use this because it's a lot better. But this fight is over pretty quick. This part's the only dicey bit, just because I keep getting hit a lot here. But just so you guys can kind of see, the amount of damage it'll do. It does between six to 10,000, depending on how many hits actually hit it and if the buffs have worn off or not. So you've got another 6,000, not too bad damage. Just got to avoid the snake, which I don't do fully. So I'm like, I'll just heal myself up just to make sure. But this is a very fun build. I like trying to use weapons that are in the OG game because for the most part with the DLC, I want to make it so that you guys, if you're struggling with any of the bosses, you can use stuff from the original game instead of having to explore through the whole DLC because the DLC is quite tough. Like, I'm not going to say the DLC is easy, because it's definitely not. Like, I completed the DLC, but I didn't use any broken builds initially, apart from at the end, just because I was fed up of Redan by then. But for these bosses, it's nice to go back to some of the original weapons and just kind of figure out how it works. With the newer buffs and the newer talismans and things like that, but you don't need it. You pretty much just use an original game stuff here. And we're close to killing Mesmer, but like I said, it does take a little bit for you to get an opening because the attack does take a little bit to fire off. There we go, almost dead. And then one more. There we go. Easy peasy. And Mesmer is one of my favorite bosses, which it's kind of sad that I killed him here because I'm going to have to play through the entire game again just to fight him. I feel like there's probably a mod for PC so you can just keep flicking on the bosses, but... Since I'm on Xbox, I kind of just have to play through the whole game again to fight him again and figure out another build. But now I'll show you guys how the build actually works. You don't need to use the buffs. The buffs are just there to give you extra damage. The sword does a fair amount of damage without them. But like I said, the buffs there at the start, pretty much they're on almost every build just to give yourself a fair bit more damage. Okay, so time for the build. So pretty much any weapon with the ability Seppuku on it. So you want to make sure that you do this to trigger the talisman for the blood. You can also change mass if you want, but that's not really needed. Commander Standard, which is a buff that increases your defense and your attack. It also overwrites Golden Vow, so don't use Golden Vow at the same time as this. So you're just wasting your buff if you do that. Because Golden Vow and this share the same buff window, essentially. Sword of Night and Flame. From the original game, if you don't know where any of these are, just give it a quick Google because there's Fextra Life or whatever it's called that shows you where everything is. And if you've played this game for long enough, you've probably got this at some point. But amazing abilities on this weapon. You can use the fire attack with um, the heavy attack or the light attack fires the comet. And then for the talisman, we have the frenzy flame seal. You don't need this. I was using the beast steel one earlier, but it's just fun to use this because it boosts your frenzy flame incantations. And that's kind of what we need. Right, and then for the armor, we're going to have the black dumpling for the helmet for the madness increased damage. And then for the armor, it's just going to be the Rack Sasha gear. So more damage taken and more damage given, which is great because you need that. And then for the talismans, we have the Shard of Alexander. That will increase your power of your skill from the sword. Then we have the Madness Talisman, which increases your attack power when madness happens. And then the Blood Talisman for when blood happens in the vicinity. This one doesn't seem to work. I tried this out in the build. doesn't really seem to give it that much power. So switch out this one for whatever you want. If you want more poise, if you want more defense, whatever. But that's the build, guys. It's good to see one of these weapons from the original game being useful. And hopefully you'll be seeing more guides from me on the broken builds and any other builds that I have. I've got a couple coming. 
I just haven't edited them yet, but when they're done, they will be released. And I'll see if I can maybe make like a compilation of some broken builds or find some other cool ones that we can use. But I'm going to try out a few weapons from the old game just to see if we can use those. Because like I said, I want to try and make it so you guys can actually get through the game. Instead of going back through the DLC once you've got all the broken weapons from the DLC. But there'll be a few coming, so stay tuned, follow the channel for more. I'll see you guys in the next video. And thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. Bye-bye.